Okay, so here we are outside 1543 Escondida Court. Just came on the market yesterday. Just to give you an idea of the street here. This is a dead end, just a couple of doors past. Looks like all the houses are pretty much like townhouses. Quite a few of them have a single car garage, but your this place has a two car garage. So there's the cul-de-sac. There's not gonna be a lot of drive-through traffic and stuff like that. We are very centrally located in town between Seringo Road and Cerritos Road. Everything seems to be in good shape. There's a nice coyote fence out here. The stucco looks good. There's a nice secure fence coming into the patio courtyard area. Just a little bit of rock work, fun stuff. A couple potted plants. couple of nice big trees here. This first one is a pinon, and I'm not sure what that is, but that's a nicer tree to have. Here's the front deck with a nice little sitting area. It's got gutters in this part and a pitched roof. It looks like shingles. I think that's shingles, yeah. And then this goes all the way down to the backyard, which I'll show you in a few minutes. It's got a cute little setup in the backyard too. A couple of sconces here. This is storage. Right now it's empty, but you could use it for your garden tools, things like that. You have the big French doors, which both open right into the living room and the kitchen. This kitchen has definitely been upgraded. Nice drop lights, good lighting in the kitchen. Let's see if this is a pantry. It has wine glasses hanging on there. Uh, hot water heater. It has a couple of shelves there, but she does not use that as a pantry. So, eh, no pantry to be found. Uh, Kenmore. Stainless steel refrigerator, really cool countertops, gas stove, and this silver cool backsplash. Dishwasher. These cabinets are a little bit different color than the cabinets in the kitchen. I'm wondering if this island was added on. So there really is no dining space. There's a nice fireplace, nice high ceilings, bringing in some good light from the south. And then this door takes you into the garage. <laughs> so it's an oversized garage, easily fit two cars and a bunch of storage in here. Let me just walk around the corner here and see. Yeah, there's like a little bump in there to put other shelves and things like that. And a couple of the slider doors for the closets. I noticed one closet doesn't have the doors on it. Uh, these French doors in the front also have the built-in blinds. That's a really nice feature. And then there's this cool cabinet here with these custom iron doors on here. I suppose this could be a pantry. Somebody is living here too, by the way. Okay, so this is a rather big hallway that goes to all three bedrooms and one of the bathrooms. Let's go in here first. This is probably the smallest of the three bedrooms. Um, could also work as an office. It's a nice view going out to the patio there. And then closet with some shelves and stuff built in already. There is a small coat closet slash linen closet. Furnace. It's to be newer, it's definitely not the original furnace for this house. And then here's one full bathroom. 
Looks like the cabinets are the same color as the kitchen cabinets. Nice glass shower door. I like that. And there's a skylight in here too. Another closet. It's a pretty deep closet. Lots of shelves. And then some hanging shelves on the back of the door. This is the laundry room. She also has stuff in here too, like it's another closet, but there's washer and dryer, and then a cabinet up above it. This is the primary bedroom. The shades are down, so it's a little bit dark in here, but there is a French door, sliding glass door, sorry, going out to the backyard. That looks like a queen size bed to me. Probably could fit a king in there, depending on how big your side table furniture is. I like the fact that it's the same tile throughout the whole house. A lot of times in these older houses, they got remodeled one room at a time and it's a hodgepodge of flooring. Similar cabinets, a little bit different of a countertop. And this bathroom has a shower with the same style glass door. And then back here, a little bit more closet space. So there's actually no closet in this bedroom, except for that. Just curious. Probably why she has all her stuff in the laundry room. Everything's very clean though, very up to date. Looks pretty nice. This is the closet that's missing the doors. Looks like one of them is in here. Oh, they're both in here, okay. So you could hang those back up if you wanted. And this just room just has a couch in it and a lamp. Looks like maybe it could be a TV room or something like that, or a guest bedroom. Ceiling fan too. So I'm gonna head out the sliding glass door and show you the backyard. It's not huge, but I like the way that they terraced this part. Some really lovely uh, rock work and some plantings. Everything looks pretty healthy. These are two pinon trees back here. And you have some other neighbor's trees that are giving you some extra shade too. So it's really nice back here. I'm going to look for signs of drip irrigation, which I'm not seeing. Most of this stuff is fairly drought tolerant. Oh yeah, there's some, seeing some tubing lines in the back there. So maybe there's irrigation on, on all this. These, this is ice plant, the orange and purple, and then the purple this is really neat. And then there's some aspens back there in the corner. And they look pretty healthy too, which is good. The aspens have really been struggling lately. And then you have this covered portal area too. So that has a cover that comes over it. There's rain barrels on all the water, on all the downspouts. And there's definitely water in there from all the rain we had a few weeks ago. And then looks like one more storage area here. Let's check this out. Yeah, so a whole nother little shed deal. She has a few tools and rakes and things like that in here. Overall, pretty nice. Your furniture will fit in here for sure. Just take another short video driving on the way out so you can see the neighborhood a little bit more. Yeah, this is a nice little place. I like it.